Well, the uh, first deleted scene actually was a scene very early on in the um, movie, right at the beginning, and it was on top of the dam. It was the guardhouse. Uh, when you see the film, what you'll see is Bond running across the uh, top of the dam. A gate seems to be opening automatically, and he runs to the center of the dam and, of course, um, jumps off. Now, what we had was this guardhouse scene where Bond slips into the guardhouse unbeknownst to them and right under their noses presses the button to open the gate. Uh, the reason for deleting it was simply one of pace, is to move the story along. And we didn't feel it was necessary um, in the final cut to establish how he opens the gate. Uh, so we just cut to the gate opening on the shot, and we never really um, answer the question. We introduce uh, Robbie Coltrane as this um, as this bad guy. Um, he's uh, involved in guns, and who knows what he's involved in. But uh, there's a very funny scene with him and the Pakistani gun runner, who's trying to sell him basically counterfeit um, counterfeit guns. And uh, it's a scene actually I loved, and uh, I really wanted it in the movie, but again, because of pacing, it was a scene that had to go. But it is a scene that I regret losing out of the movie. Heckler and Koch, MP5, fully automatic submachine gun. Exactly, sir. A very good gun. A very good eye. I promise you most excellent quality. 2,000 pieces, next to delivery, no problem. A very good price. Clock 17, semi-automatic pistol. I compliment you on your taste, sir. Excellent weapon. You know, all the very best people are using them. Very good gun. I tell you what, I give you my very, very, very best price. Very Obsolete. Price. Check counterfeit crap. The Glock is a weapon I greatly admire. Of course you do, sir. Because you're a very clever man. Beautifully machined. Takes to the hand like a glove. Of course, how right you are, sir. Because it's a very, very fine... The Chinese have released a batch of counterfeits on the market. Perfect, except for one tiny detail. The silly Chinese have made the firing pins <laughs> too short. Get out of my sight. Uh, the scene with Jack Wade in the middle of the movie is where he's driving along in this horrible little Fiat, I think it is. Um, tiny little car with Bond heading towards the nightclub. And really, the whole thing is a soliloquy from Jack Wade about his interest in gardening, his whole horticultural interest, um, which was very funny and sort of rather interesting for Wade's character. The problem was we had to get to the nightclub a little quicker, and I always felt that the middle of the film was where it sagged and it needed to be moved along faster. This cuts directly onto a scene where Isabella is in the graveyard, and. Uh, She's there heading towards the church. It's all rather sinister, and she's going in, of course, for a secret meeting with Boris. And we felt it was just um, easier and gave it more pace to cut directly into the church, which is what we did. And one day, boom, she had been throwing a section of fertilizer out the window. And then suddenly, there they were. I'm talking about blooms the size of hand grenades. There it is, Kirov's funeral parlor. Like I said, the exchange takes place at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Right.
The scene in the train between Oromov and uh, Boris is just a, um, a very small transition scene where uh, Boris is checking out the um, uh, computer for bugs and things, and uh, frustrated Oromov is telling him to get on with it. And um, it's just a tiny scene which sets them both up um, in as partners in crime, if you will. So uh, that was a tiny scene that um, I think, quite frankly, is much better out of the picture. Disconnected me. What do you think you're doing? Preventing an accident. Your practicing might be discovered. I am making sure there are no bugs in the program. My practicing will help prevent an even bigger accident. I crash bugs. Hmm. And probably eat them. You leave tonight. And in 72 hours, you will see if I have to call an exterminator. <laughs> 